Oh my god, we're completely like a secret there. menu. Oh. Where you can do like certain add-ons. They have a, a style. You can get it what they call like animal style, where they grill onions. They put uh, yes. pickles. Yes. Uh, mustard. Yes. You can also get animal style fries. Our LA trip was amazing, and in this vid, we're going to share with you some of the best parts of that trip. Starting with the food. All right. oh, and this is our first food. meal. First meal in LA. In -Out We're big burger fans, and we already knew all too well about In N Out Burger and the hysteria which surrounds California's favorite <laughs> burger chain. And we was eager to get to know it more personally. Uh, number one. Can I get it with uh, raw onions, okay. extra spread, okay. and chopped up chilies? In that pink lemonade. <laughs> yeah. And this one I'm gonna try the root beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Amazing. Anthony Bourdain called it his favorite restaurant in Los Angeles. And now we know why. No hype, it was easily the best fast food burger we've ever had. Original Teddy's red tacos. Alright. It's our first taco experience. Let's get it. LA is probably most well known for its Mexican food and its tacos culture. And this was our first dip into that culture here at Teddy's. Thank you. This was a great start, but it only began to scratch the surface of Mexican food here in LA. We need an extra plate or I guess we're... I think we should be alright. We also tried the tacos at Grand Central Market, which is host to a load of other very cool looking vendors. Grand Central Market, note it down. Oh, did they put one on top of And this is what they looked like. Muchas gracias, hermano. What is that? It's pig's nose. This was also the first time I tried pig's nose. Do politely declined. It's flavorful. Up next is another highly recommendable experience in LA. Korean barbecue. And this was our first one, so we were hella excited. On good authority, we were told that the best Korean food outside of Korea can be found right here in Koreatown in LA. I don't want you to get bored. I got the one, see? He was explaining. Alright, so these are like side dishes, right? So, you know, like, imagine they're, they're just there to enhance the food. It's called Lantan, but you got a lot of different things. So you got like a pickled cucumber there, with like a spicy red pepper. This looks like it's either a fried mushroom or a banana, I don't know. Banana? banana? Oh, that's banana. banana? Oh, fried banana, it's that's really fried. good. This oh. fried banana, Damn. potato. Uh, this is like a broccoli and like a mayo, maybe, so some kind of a salad, kimchi. This is fermented bean paste over here. This is uh, seaweed salad, bean sprouts, fish cake. This is really good. This is like a cilantro, marinated cilantro. I've only had them here. Oh, really? Yeah, that's probably a little LA fusion for you. I love some more bananas. More salad. Then, uh, yeah, salad. This is a highly marbleized short rib. Marinated. This is the this is the stuff. That's crazy. Yeah, this is why we came here for this. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Oh yeah, it was my birthday meal too. Uh, so you see this right here? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you've got like a, it's like a soy sauce, probably vinegar mixture. Yeah. And then the other one is a sesame oil, salt, pepper. Yeah. It's sesame like, oil, salt, pepper. Yeah. This meal blew us away. And there'll be one we'll remember for a long time to come. Before we round up the food section of this video, we gotta give a mention to Boiling Crab, a delicious hands-on seafood experience featuring some brilliant Cajun ports. Be sure to also check out our LA Food Store video if you haven't already.
Now this is Venice Beach Boardwalk in Venice, a buzzing beach town in LA known for its bohemian spirit. There's a lot going on here and you can easily while away many hours just in this area of LA alone. If it's shopping for arts and crafts you're after, they've got you. It's great for just strolling along the boardwalk. You're gonna see something which takes your fancy. Do take some time to stop and watch the b-ballers playing as well. We did. It's got a certain movie like quality to it. At least it did for us East Londoners. Muscle Beach, yo. We had to check out Muscle Beach. But we weren't trying to pay that $10 fee to get in. Instead, we went to the free section nearby. Check out the free version, though. Calisthenics for days. And I even had a little play around until this guy shut my shoulder down. Cha. And we made a stop to check out the iconic oceanfront Venice skate park. It comes out, all right, and then it, it opens back up the other side. It's beautiful, man. Yeah. It's so Quick show of the scooter culture here. They're all over the place, which we thought was really cool. But many residents here aren't impressed because they're all over the place. Scooters are everywhere. And now onto the area of Venice LA most reminiscent of its namesake in Italy. It's just a really pleasant stroll. Go go go! Okay, bye duck. Oh look how behaved he is. This is so awesome. For you bookworms and art enthusiasts though, a good shout is to check out the very cool record and bookshop, The Last Bookstore, in downtown LA. So guys, yes, we have finally made it on a little hike to the back bit of the Hollywood side. You see LA? It's a bit cloudy still because that's the layer from the marina and this is the other side of the mountain a bit more of LA and to be fair guys there this little mountain is what we actually trekked from yes believe that because we ended up finding out that there was a an actual road to hike up like a normal nice drivable road but we decided to challenge ourselves this morning at 8 30 and take the hike basically so so just want to give you a brief lowdown we came from around there 
and obviously we've trekked through the mountains, up the rocky roads, all literally down this path. So you can see, I don't know, my thing. There's some people there. That's the exact same trail that we took. So we was at some point at that peak. And then we got, took this road here, where these guys are coming, and then it's gonna go um, and then probably up the road. I don't know if they can go through this way. But, this is our last, last day, full day in LA. It's been absolutely stunning. Look at that view again, it's a bit cloudy. This is our next stop afterwards, so let me see if I can zoom in. Can you see it? I don't know how we're gonna get there. 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 That is the Griffith, Griffith Observatory. So that is our next move. It was closed, yeah, so we couldn't make it. Around. But do try and fit it into your plans. Ah. And we're back. And look at what I've seen again. Slightly closer. Mm. So I'm just going to take some few pictures. And like this. Looks weird, right? Do you want me to do with my hair? Because we're doing it with my hair. And we drove past those famous stars in Hollywood, but didn't stop to spend any time with them. We've got to get a museum on this list, and our pick has to be the Broad Museum. It happens to be the only museum we went to, but it was a great one with a number of fantastic pieces. And no, we're not running out of things to mention, maybe just a little, but we did have a good time at the dog park and thought it was cool that there was even such a thing as a dog park. We don't have them in London, as far as I know. We're going to wrap it up here and we hope you've enjoyed this vid so far and found it somewhat helpful and or inspiring for your next trip to LA. Run that way. But listen carefully to Run the next way. bit and do as the girl in the next clip says, okay? It's important. <laughs> but we need him. See, where you at? I'm right here, I'm right here. Can you pass, bro? No, after you, after you. Yeah. <laughs> oh damn, this is cool. Hi. Hello, you alright? Like and subscribe, comment below. Cool. <laughs>